I think the Mayo Clinic in Arizona residency program in radiation oncology has in some ways the best of both worlds. We have a small program with many benefits of one-on-one -on -one attention with the faculty, with huge opportunities for research because there isn't a lot of competition between the residents. But in this fantastic healthcare environment with the values of Mayo Clinic, with world-class physicians, with the Mayo Clinic name, and all the support that the graduate medical education community at Mayo Clinic uh, provides. So the mentorship program here really begins during the PGY-1 year. We actually start the residents working on research projects. Typically what ends up happening is that very first project will allow the resident to have other projects that spin off of that over the next several years. This place is an unbelievable springboard for your career. Um, a wealth of opportunities that are really unmatched. And I have always felt supported at this program and continue to feel supported as a junior faculty member, both clinically, academically, and personally. And so I think that's something that's important to look at in a program. When you start as a PGY2, the first month of your training is about acclimating you to the department. When I first got here, everybody was willing to lend a hand. Um, I started building relationships with people, and I quickly realized that the culture was all about the patient. We start our program and we're paired with an attending physician for a three-month period. And so during that three-month period, we're always able to access our attendings by phone, by email. We're able to establish a really good rapport that helps us develop a bond and makes us feel more confident in the treatment decisions that we make together. I think Mayo has a lot of extra resources to really help uh, improve our residency experience and a lot of that's built into the support staff that we have. We're lucky enough to have a statistician in our department. When we go to present or, or build our poster. We have a support staff that helps create our figures and actually will put together our poster for us, review and edit our papers and make them ready for submission to really help us magnify our research opportunities and improve our finished product. If you have research projects and you submit them to conferences, either international or national meetings, they're very willing to help fund those uh, trips. It helps with getting your research out there in front of other people. It's been a great opportunity to meet others in the field and to uh, learn uh, what other people are doing to advance the field of radiation oncology. Another important component of mentorship is helping the residents to find jobs upon graduation from residency. And we start that process early so that by the time they have sat for their physics and radiobiology boards, July of their PGY-5 year, now we can go into the job search mode and we're ready to do that. I recently graduated from the program earlier this year and decided to accept the position to stay on staff here. Um, and I'm so glad that I did. A true testament to the quality of training uh, is that, you know, I feel prepared to treat anything that comes through the door. For me, it was important that whatever program I matched at was in line with my belief system and they would also support my career goals. And not only support that, even probably go to the extent of helping me realize those career goals. And I feel like I'm very lucky to be here because that's the kind of program I found. The research that I'm engaged in helps me live out my passion of you know, being able to engage in disparities research and expand cancer care to under-resourced minorities. Working with a great team of surgeons and medical oncologists and radiologists and pathologists not only makes it enjoyable, but also very satisfying to know that you can give our patients really the top level of care. And that's transmitted to our learners who get to work in that environment, get to model that behavior, and are treated uh, as full members of the team. The transition from being a resident to an attending here at Mayo Clinic actually was quite seamless because you're, you're treated as a colleague as a resident here. So it's a great feeling. Um, and I think that's how it should be um, at a training program. The culture here 
allows us to be very collegial and form friendships and really have a lot of unity. And that really will extend beyond the work hours and beyond the walls of this institution. I definitely feel that the people here are my friends and we're all very close. I'm myself every day. Um, they know who I am. I know who they are. We all know that, hey, this is Felicia's value system or this is Justin's value system and we respect each other and we find common ground in the sense that when it comes to patient care, we all have one goal. If you ask our patients, they will get that sense of the positivity that is within the department. The overall goal of the department is to allow the resident to achieve complete independence by the time that they're done training over a five year period. Not only do we want to address that independence with their clinical decision making and their ability to take care of patients, but we also want them to develop leadership skills as well as to develop the skill set to be an independent researcher should they choose to do that in their future career. I know just through the training I've already gone through that I'm going to be, you know, five steps ahead compared to other residents who have trained at other programs. We take care of each other just like we take care of our patients. Residency is a great time of life to learn your craft and to get ready for your future career.